Association. Weather from where you live. Well, the rain's pulling away, and you know the clearing line is running from just north of Springfield to near Kankakee, and that will sweep through tonight, turning the skies clear. There's still just a little bit of rain holding on down here at Crawfordsville to Lebanon to near Frankfurt and also near Tipton. But that's quickly pushing out of here. And boy, in the next hour, this is going to be totally out of the viewing area. And then we're going to have a pretty nice Friday. It looks nice, 55 to 60 with sunny skies. Rainfall totals, though, lighter as you move northward. You know, 13 hundredths Monticello. Got an email from Candy Teal up there at Chalmers, a tenth of an inch. Almost a tenth from Marianne and Remington. Tyler down east of Attica, 41 hundredths, though. And here at the station, 29 hundredths of the airport, I think, at a quarter of an inch. Uh, the higher totals, though, Atlanta down to Frankfurt, also Crawfordsville, and down towards Perrysville, mainly in the southern counties and southeast counties, over a half an inch where we only had a couple hundreds up here at Rochester and tonight it is cooling off, but it's still overcast. We're in the mid to upper 40s as it clears out rapidly tonight. We're going to quickly fall into the 30s by tomorrow morning. 36 with a northeast wind at 5 to 10, 52 at noon and then 58. You know, just a hair cool tomorrow, but the sun will look and it will feel nice. Winds northeast at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So clearing rapidly tonight. There's that nice Friday. Saturday looks good and even Sunday looks pretty good. Some showers will arrive late Sunday evening into Sunday night. Then Monday looks OK and then warm, windy with a lot of showers and storms next week and a severe weather threat that will flirt with our viewing area. 33 to about 38 generally speaking tonight. 35 Burlington, 35 Monticello and 36 in Lafayette. About 34 Kentland, Chalmers around 35. Kiwana about 34 degrees and there's that 55 to 60 degree day tomorrow. 58 Monticello and Lafayette to Brookston, Chalmers and Remington, 59 Fowler and about 60 down at Vetersburg. And warmer still Saturday, mostly sunny skies. Breezy on Saturday as well, 61 Monticello, 62 in Lafayette, and a nice 62 down to Attica and West Point. There's the rain pulling away, the clouds pulling away tonight. Notice during the day tomorrow, check it out, it is a clear day, really nice. Clear tomorrow night, a cold frenzy, Mike Clef. It's going to drop to 30 by early on Saturday morning, and then Saturday itself, mostly sunny again good looking day. The weekend, you know, doesn't look too bad at all. So after 57 earlier today, we fell through the afternoon. There's tomorrow and there's Saturday, 62 breezy. There's the front Sunday that'll come through Sunday night with a few showers, 66 Sunday, 60 Monday. But this is the bigger story. Warm front will come through with some showers Tuesday. Strong low here in eastern Oklahoma will work northeastward next week. Severe weather threat. It's going to be a close call for us, but certainly central Illinois all the way to the Gulf Coast. And this is heavy snow to our west and a tornado event event looks pretty likely St. Louis all the way down to New Orleans. It's going to be a pretty potent November severe weather event uh, as we get into the middle and latter parts of next week. But as for us, we'll keep an eye on it. Close call right now. 58 tomorrow, 62 Saturday. There's the 66 on Sunday. Not a bad weekend. And we stay pretty mild after we start to cool off a little bit by Thursday. But, you know, 67 Wednesday. But we will watch that storm threat on Wednesday and pretty widespread significant rainfall. Okay. Thanks, Chad, sure. so much. I appreciate it. Yep. Well, we've, uh, I'm still waiting to see Peyton Manning in a Colts uniform. But who knows? Maybe we'll have Andrew Luck next year. Uh, Mike Clef standing by with us.